The Intergalactic Naval Reserve Arm, commonly known also as INRA, was an undercover paramilitary organization established as a joint federal imperial initiative in 3125. While its existence was announced by the superpowers, little info was shared with the public. Surviving reports from the time of the First Thargoid War indicate it was created to address Thargoid incursions, and that it was responsible for creating a chemical weapon to disable Thargoid technology. In its heyday, INRA was viewed by the public as a symbol of altruism and cooperation, a proof of what the superpowers could achieve when they set aside their differences to work together. Much of this, however, was nothing more than a propaganda creating optimistic facade. In actuality, INRA was an unaccountable organization focused solely on progress at any cost, whose immorality steadily increased as more and more people who had a problem with the research methods and goals it was pursuing left. Although humanity seemingly repelled the Thargoid threat and won the first Thargoid war, INRA stayed active for decades after the conflict ended. In 3193 it finally shed its covert status and emerged into the public eye, however the organization continued to pursue its original mandate with little accountability or transparency. INRA finally disbanded in 3253 after becoming involved in a scandal within Alliance space and falling out of favor with the public and superpowers alike. That being said, let's take a closer look at INRA's activities. During much of the first Thargoid war, humanity was powerless when faced with Thargoid's highly advanced weaponry, but one of INRA's laboratories focused on research into Thargoid technology at Hollis Gateway in the system Hermitage 4A eventually yielded an accidental discovery. A junior researcher looking into the agricultural applications of Thargoid tech noted the deleterious effects of a certain type of fungus on it. The researcher reported his find directly to the INRA leadership, going over the head of his dismissive superior, Chief Researcher Bexley Prince. INRA's interest was piqued, and further research and testing has begun. Many new facilities have been used by INRA in development of this promising weapon. Among the most prominent ones were CLAT Enterprises on Alnath A2, and Stack on HIP 129 1A. Many unethical experiments with the bioweapon were carried out here, not only on intact Thargoid vessel, but also several live Thargoid specimen. These experiments, however, as inhumane as they were, yielded concrete results. It has been confirmed that the fungus is extremely destructive not only to Thargoid technology, but affects also the actual Thargoid specimen's physiology and causes extreme physical pain. Another key part of the mycoid program was May's chemical plant on HIP 59382 1B. This site served as the main production facility of the mycoid virus which was then being distributed to many other labs and storages, in disguise ironically as a pesticide. The final, and perhaps most important of the INRA sites involved with the Mycoy project has been Taylor Keep on 12 Triangular A1. This facility has been operating as a launch point for the delivery of weaponized Mycoy to a Thargoid hire ship by Commander Jameson. It was also from the logs which survived here, that public later found out about INRA keeping the real objective of the mission from Jameson, and tampering with his ship, never intending for him to come back alive. While the Mycoid superweapon undoubtedly turned out to be INRA's biggest success, there have also been divisions focusing on other projects, the one we know most of, being to try reverse engineer Thargoid technology for possible use by humans. Facility used for this project has been Amada landing on Con A3A. Its goal was to reverse engineer any Thargoid technology possible, from shields and weapons, to their highly advanced hyperdrives. It eventually yielded partial success with the drive technology. It has been found that it works drastically different from the human tech, creating a stable wormhole instead of shifting the space around the craft, like human ships did. A prototype ship with this new hybrid drive was soon built, with the ability to create a stable wormhole. INRA leadership pushed hard for a human piloted test, despite the lead engineer Effie Rattling's concerns about human body's ability to withstand the wormhole's effects. These concerns soon proved to be correct, as when the vessel emerged back to the normal space after the test, the pilot's body has been found as if turned inside out. To our best knowledge, this was the end of INRA's reverse engineering efforts. 
Our last piece of information about INRA was found at an old settlement Araxan Lane on DG Canem Veneta Corum A4A. This site has been discovered in May 3308, thanks to Professor Albert Aro receiving an anonymous tip-off about the location, promising to reveal the identity of at the time mysterious figure Salvation. The logs found here proved the role of Azimuth Biochemicals as an independent contractor for INRA at the time, working closely with them on the mycoid program, as well as Salvation's identity being Caleb Witcherly, Vice President of the Azimuth. Araxan Lane itself is then believed to have been the location of Witcherly's research team. In the end, the history of this shadowy organization is quite tragic. While it did contribute a great deal to ending the First Thargoid War, its legacy is tainted by its power-hungry and immoral leadership as well as philosophy that goal justifies the means.